Korea. This is the most museum quality replica that they've ever built. This was built in Albany, New York, and brought here in 1992 for the 500-year celebration of Christopher Columbus Hill. Come here. Get out of here. She's talking. This area of the ship is the galley area. It would have been their kitchen. They would have one hot meal a day, weather providing. Um, it would be a one hot meal, but it was like a stew. Um, every day about 11 o'clock, the ship's cook would come down and assess the weather. Day like today was perfect for a hot meal. Yesterday, not so good, but it was cloudy and rainy. Um, they would keep the fire contained in the stove. They would have one hot meal. They had livestock in the front of the ship. They had some pigs and goats and chickens. They also had dried and salted meats. I feel we have some slab bacon. And they say as long as you keep it out of the direct sunlight and out of the rain that it would last forever. Ours is over 10 years old. And supposedly you can scrape all that black stuff off and fry it up and it would taste just like bacon. They need a lot of seasoning with the garlic and onions. They had spears up here for weapons. They also would use them to spear fish with, so they could have some fresh fish. I know, I'm joking. But this is where they also spent their free time. This was their like social area. They would play games like chess and checkers. There's a another board game called Nine Man's Morris. And they would have a game of ring toss, which we used to have one up here somewhere. But things move. <laughs> And they would also shoot dice for crabs, the dice itself, say they draw a war. So this was a multi-purpose area of the ship. You'll notice that there is not one level spot to walk on. That's by design. That's to get the water so, off as quickly as possible. you walk up there? No, we don't get to walk up there. Can you walk down there? We will get to walk down there. I'm going to walk up there and say, I need <laughs> You should have come this weekend. It was talk like a pirate. Some of the things that they made, I think some of the somebody took off with one more biscuits. Um, during the day when they were hungry or if they couldn't have their hot meal, they would have hardtack or ship's biscuit. This is real and it's that hard. It serves a couple purposes being this hard. One, it travels well because it doesn't crumble in the barrel. And two, it was so hard that the rats couldn't eat it. They ate a lot of beans. We have lima beans and split peas and more hardtack. And I was going to do this and I was going to do that one. These are kind of soggy. They've been out so well. <laughs> but that's, you know, they would put a lot of the, the beans and the millet and stuff in the pot this and then they would swell up big. Look, Mommy, my new milk. And make a one pot meal. Now sort it back out. Yep. <laughs> they had a couple young sailor board, and they would give them the front work, and this is one of the jobs. The bilge is the absolute bottom of the ship, and it would suck up water from the ocean because it's all wood. And when it did that, it would start steering crooked. So they would have somebody stand here and pump, and the idea was to bring the water out of the bottom of the ship onto the deck so that it would run off the side. And on each side there's holes called scuppers. And that's why the floor isn't level. Because everything leads to the scuppers. Sure? It's just like churning butter with no end result. <laughs> Nothing good to eat at the end of that journey. In oak barrels. They took their barrels from lakes and streams. So as fresh water goes, it was as fresh as what they got. Um, is that guy in the way from the monkey? Over to the barrel, had a little ladle with a little leather cup attached to it. It holds about an ounce and a half, and this is how they would ration the water. Um, they didn't get to carry around a little 20 ounce bottle like we do. And then each sailor would share out of the same cup. So, after a while of the barrel sitting out and down on it, they said that it started tasting pretty bad because it's lake water to begin with. And so they got smart and they added wine to the barrel and it made it a couple differences. One, it made it taste a little bit better. 
And two, it killed some of the bacteria that was growing in the barrel. So it didn't make them as sick as it could have. Cold area. Watch your step. It is up and over. Handrail here in the center. Want some help? Yeah, he didn't need some help. Okay. And that is something they built. Cats people. Go. Those are kind of big steps for you. A hold. H-O-L-D, hold. This is what held every extra bit of cargo that they had on board. Um, upstairs, there were probably 35 sailors on the main deck all the time, so there wasn't a lot of room for storage. She can explore if she wants. Um, the floor down here is not original to the ship. It's here so that we can give tours the same as the steps that we just walked down. The floor would have actually been river rock. It would have been full of river rock down here. Um, the rock was put in here in order to keep the ship in the water. Um, it was, it's called ballast, so in order to keep the bottom in, in the water, they used the weight of the rock. Um, a picture of what they think Christopher probably looked like back in the day. I, I don't know, sometimes he has blonde hair and blue eyes, sometimes brown hair and brown eyes. He would never set for an artist because it took up to two weeks to have done, so he refused. So this is what somebody told him he probably looked like. I don't know, food in barrels, everything was brought in in barrels, the flour, beans, anything they ate. Their um, ship biscuit also kept in barrels. They ended up with rats and mice down here, um, and they knew that rats car carry disease. <coughs> so they wanted to get rid of them, so they created a rat trap. And this rat trap works the same way as a mouse trap does. <laughs> they would put the bait in the back, the rat would go in, trip the trigger, and the the door would come down the ship, which is the calm water off the back, and they'd be doing the dog paddle to catch back up to the boat because this was their meal ticket down here. Oh, that's all right. Why didn't they, they eat them? <laughs> no, they didn't eat them because they knew that they carried disease. Oh, okay. But maybe on the sand, or not the sand, the Mayflower, because they had a whole extra level Guys. between the hold area and the main deck full of people. They did bring them up every now and then to the main deck and use them as bait so that they could fish. So, I'll display to show you how they would they, upstairs the, get the water they are, here. Yeah. <laughs> the well the These are some of the tools that they used. 